everyone welcome we are celebrating women's day and uh, today we have a very young dynamic uh, smart and sharp young achiever well she's the eldest daughter of mr kumar mangalam birla yes i'm talking about an uh, entrepreneur and a fantastic singer here ananya birla ananya good to speak to you and thank you very much for your time to speak to z business thank you swati it's a pleasure okay ananya we're talking about women's day here and uh, you know uh, you uh, come from a family which is purely in business for many years very very successful but you have to you know taken root out outside of that and also proven yourself as a big singer i think that is something people are really really uh, happy about they talk about it all the time tell us about yourself how did you embark upon this journey of uh, getting into this uh, new phase yeah i think the most important thing for me is to do something that sparks your soul and music's always done that for me and as soon as i could break out of my mold and realize that life is too short and you know society will say what they want to say um there are preconceived notions uh, that one mustn't take too seriously i was able to reach a place where i was not just living my life but i actually felt alive mm-hmm. um so uh, it's it's quite you know it's just about that and of course then the entire journey started and So it's just music is something that's it's been my best friend through a lot while growing up yeah and so when I, did you realize that this is something that you would want to perhaps pursue as a career at some point I think I always knew oh, yeah I think I always knew I just I was too scared uh, for various reasons uh, a lot of it was just in my mind to be honest now thinking about it because my parents are so supportive uh, and you know then when I went to Oxford I actually truly realized that this is what I want to do uh take up as a career yeah it was it was then it, it was, was then. then okay yeah. that was the time when you knew that this yeah. is your calling i was 100% doing. sure then okay and and what was the support, you know when you said parents were supportive but what was their first reaction to it did they take you seriously to say yeah this could be a career or they thought that this can be something that you can do alongside yeah. the business that the family is you know built on no you know my parents have always been um of the mindset that you need to do what keeps you happy and you need to find your passion and take it up as your career because if you can do that then you have you're going to live a happy life i mean amongst other things so they don't have any qualms about it at all you know they uh, my father says that uh, i'm getting old i need help i need you to come but you know at the, it's just all in in jokes and laughter at the end of the day they're very very supportive um they know that i want to bring a grammy back home for india and they and they're super super supportive about that so very supportive um it was a conversation that i had with them individually um i don't think it was just one conversation i think it was a couple Multiple, and yeah. you know we we discussed on a realistically you need a plan a and a plan b uh, but uh, super supportive of what i'm doing and they're the first ones to hear my songs and my see my music videos i know and you're making some wonderful music out there i mean we all have seen it heard it and we are really proud of the fact that you know you're representing Thank india you. in a big way Thank you. um You know when you talk about uh, the love for music and parallelly you're also doing uh, quite a wonderful thing in microfinance for example and you've set some very interesting goals i i read about it uh, by 2022 you want to make it a billion dollar entity yeah. the microfinance company first and foremost let's know and understand what does swatantra microfinance actually do so we finance women basically who have uh, various businesses um and it's not for consumption purposes they have to plow it into their business and that's when they get their return and they pay us principal and interest so when people say you know you're helping rural women or semi urban women no one are helping anyone they're helping themselves we're just a catalyst so tantra is just a catalyst that's what we basically do now of course it's moved a little bit into fintech as well because we've pioneered this uh, this app where everything it's called sathi where everything is cashless from from our end and from their end um you know we have mentorship programs we have scholarship programs we have insurance we have different packages that's come in we we acquired um a housing company uh late last year which is doing very well um you know it brings into it 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 puts in infrastructure uh, which is a very very important plug uh, in what we are doing um so the entire idea is to basically finance people who don't have the finance so that we push them up into the banking system okay and that's what the journey is all about so far so i mean that that's basically what it is to increase gdp per capita as a whole and to bring them into the so how big is the company right now uh, what are the kind of uh, yeah. the number of people that you've got on 
to this uh, business, yeah. uh, this uh, entity and how much do you intend to grow so we have uh, touched 4 million lives in a sense so we've we've lent that much uh, it's been we've touched about 2000 crores uh, uh, glp we were the fastest growing mfi last year mid size last year now we've reached uh, now we're in the in the large mfi uh, uh, space. cat yeah, yeah space and it feels very surreal cuz i started off uh, without any it was very tough to even get my first clients i still have my first clients name really? i still have id 100th client 1000th client okay. uh, and uh, you know so so it, it's been 1000 glp 2000 glp so it's been a it's been a great journey um, and that's basically where we're at right now you know a lot of people would probably think that you know you come from a family where uh, you have a support in terms of you doing anything and people take you seriously and hence you you know it's not so difficult as opposed to many other women yeah. perhaps is that really entirely true and if uh, and what were your uh, kind of uh, challenges as you went along yeah. i mean did you face any i mean everyone faces challenges right it's it's all relative yeah. um so of course I, I think for me my age initially went against me because i was 17 when no, i started yeah. so i couldn't even be on the i couldn't even be on the board of the company okay that was how it was uh, but uh, it was this it was not legal had, right <laughs> no you have to be 18 you have yeah. to be 18 yeah. um as soon as i turned 18 i got on the board so um you know so people taking me seriously at that age was a little bit of an issue but once i got my team in a place once i started proving myself once i start, once bankers started coming in and giving us the lowest interest rates where the lowest we we provide the lowest interest rates in the entire in the, in the entire industry, industry. as well okay. uh, to our clients so once all of this started coming into place you know um it's it's about the small things that really matter so for example i'm going off topic here a little bit but for example Putting yourself in the client's shoes for them, interest rate matters a lot. Every it rupee does. matters. It Drop does. the interest rate. So that's what I did. I cut the interest rate in the entire industry. Number one. Number two, convenience. They have so much going on. They have to take care of their kids. They have their own businesses. They have their in-laws. They have their grandparents, etc., etc. Um, they have their land to take care of. They do not have time to actually go to a center. Okay, fine. We'll send our we'll field send officers to them. Okay. So you know things like this that, uh, to make it more convenient for them. Um, maybe they're not very comfortable with male male field officers, so get females on board. Um, so that so, kind so of thinking, small little small tweaking. things like that, yeah. you know, that really really helped us and helped our growth massively. But do you go out there uh, and reach out to these women that you uh, cater to? I mean, do you interact with them? Or yeah. is it more uh, done? No, no, I do. You do. That, that's what makes me. That gives me a lot of fulfillment to see that you know. So one example, which I which I give to everyone because it really it sort of gets to me is one of our first clients had um, I don't even know very very small space and she had one mirror and one chair and she used, she, she used to you know eyebrows uh, thread yeah, eyebrows a small, like a parlor, parlor basically yeah. right and she asked for a loan. I mean it was ten thousand rupees and. Uh, of course, after the entire loan, you know, validation, credit check, credit bureau, our entire SOP process, it was it was a yes. It was, uh. it was sanctioned. We gave it to her. Um, she went on to the second loan cycle, third loan cycle, and now her space has at least increased fivefold. Wow! Um, she has employed five to six more women. Uh, it's a good size parlor. It's it's the it's the you know it's where all the women come from that all the different. Yeah. So it's become like a proper proper business for her, and uh, you know her savings have increased. She's now um, you know uh, actually educating her girl child as well. I had oh, a conversation nice. with her. Her elder son is taking up law, so uh, you know her husband is also you know it's really, really nice supporting. Change, yeah, yeah, yeah. So seeing that and going back into her space and saying. Whoa! I came here four years ago. What? What the it's hell so has happened? Isn't yeah. It? yeah. So it's gratifying, and it also it also you know it also says that we're doing something right. My team is doing something right. We are achieving what we want to achieve, and it's not just in terms of numbers and figures and profitability. Of course, that's very very important in a business, but we're of also course. having an impact on on lives. Of course, and I think that anyway in the long term is a good thing to do. I mean, I mean both are very important. You know, it's it's about financial. Um, Sustainable finance, as they call it now. You know, this journey is very interesting. Hai, apne jo bataya. Music pe apne uh, focus kiya. Haan ji. Ab kya hai apka next uh, plan? So next step hai. Aaj mera song release ho raha hai Unstoppable Women's Day par. Ye gana basically it's about uh, 
Mahila being unstoppable no matter what they do. I wrote this song in 2015 for my mom. In 2015? Yes, I wrote it in London. And finally I'm going to release it. So it was very good about it. After that, a big music video is coming at the end of this month, end of March. And in April, my album is going to be released, finally. I've been working on it for one and a half to two years. So, I'm getting a lot of interesting things. Of course, in 2019, it's a very important year for you, isn't it? It's a very important year. It's a very important year for me, because the entire idea now, पांच प्लैटिनम हो गए हैं सॉंग्स बेटर वन प्लैटिनम इस वेल इट्स इट्स ए फीट दैट नो अदर इंडियन हैज डन इन इंग्लिश म्यूजिक इन इंडिया सो आई फील वेरी प्राउड ऑफ द इंटायर टीम दैट्स वेदर इट्स माय प्रोड्यूसर्स द लेबल यू नो एवरीवन माय इंटायर माय मैनेजमेंट टीम myself a little bit as well बड़ी मॉडेस्टी है आपने I must say so the entire idea now is to break internationally so 2020 you think you're ready or 2019 I think 2019-2020, I think end of 2019 or 2020, wow. shurwat, kuch, something will happen. Wow. So, it's not far away. It's not far away. So, you're a lot, you know, I mean, you're uh, a full throttle. Par hai. I'm pumped. Haan, I'm full, pumped. Fully. Pumped. I've been working here for a lot of work here. And, uh, that's just like anyone else. Tell us about Empower, which is yeah. about mental health. Yeah, uh, and you're doing this with your mother. Yeah, uh, I think uh, so. I personally have faced a lot of uh, mental health issues. Um, nothing to laugh about. I'm laughing about it because it's just something that I talk about all the time, and it's nothing to be ashamed of. I think um, it just makes you stronger. Um, so my mom went through postpartum depression as well after my my brother was born. So it's something that's very close to our hearts. It's something that you felt it. You know it. Yeah, I know how it feels. I know the pain, and I think. I have been very lucky to have the support from my parents, from my friends, from people around me. And firstly, it's not easy. Secondly, the stigma doesn't make it any easier. Of course. And there are so many people out there, I can't even explain, who suffer and who are completely silent. They're silent sufferers. And sometimes unaware. And they're unaware as well. And the suicide rates in India are increasing massively. We really want to do something about it. And we are, you know, we're trying everything that we possibly can. We want to reach a stage where I don't know whether two individuals can do it or one. You know, we need people to come together. But mental health and physical health go hand in hand, and people need to understand that there's absolutely nothing wrong with suffering from a mental illness. Just like you may have a fracture, you may you may be having a really low day. You know, so I used to have days. Very sensitive issue. I mean, this is of course very very sensitive. It's very sensitive, but it's also it's very important. It's very important, and it's just a change of mindset that needs to happen.